Hi guys, it is another cold winter day in the month of May here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, you're somewhere outside of Ithaca, New York, uh, here on this icy Saturday, May the 8th, 2021. It certainly feels like May the 8th. We have our methane probably our fracked methane uh, humming away in our heater. We got some more uh, methane burning on the stove cooking some red beans and rice so I can't think of a better time than this minute to uh, bring you today's chronicle of the collapse right here all over the mainstream media news and uh, see if you can figure out what is missing in this article. This is a Collapse Chronicles Doomer Pop Quiz. Tell me if what is missing in this mainstream media story from good old Axios. Now imagine this guys, a sweeping, a sweeping UN report says methane is far worse for the climate and human health than previously thought. Yes, uh, do you think so? Another far worse than previously thought. <clears throat> Methane emissions from oil and gas, such as the gas heating this house and cooking my food. Methane emissions from oil and gas, agriculture, and other sources are contributing to thousands more deaths per year from air pollution than previously thought, while <coughs> simultaneously leading to a rapid increase in global average temperatures according to a comprehensive new UN report. Why does this matter? The report, which is the most thorough study of methane's contribution to global warming, public health ailments and solutions to the methane bomb yes, to date. It shows both the perils involved with continuing to drill and transport oil and natural gas and the range of available low-cost solutions to bring down the methane emissions, yes. Now for the details. The world would need to cut 40 to 45 percent of human-caused global methane emissions by 2030 in nine years in order to avoid an additional 0.3 degrees C of warning, warming. About 30 percent of the cuts in methane emissions by 2030 would come from targeted measures such as containing leaks in natural gas pipelines. <clears throat> Another 15% of the emission cuts would come from broader efforts to decarbonize our economy, yes, such as turning away from fossil fuels and toward renewable energy sources. We won't get into that rant. Um, Ing Anderson, executive director of the UN Environmental Program, told reporters that it is no longer optional. It is no longer optional to tackle methane emissions. Quote, without tackling this, you know, without tackling methane, we cannot hit one and a half C and we will certainly overshoot the two degree target. <clears throat> so I think that this is on the must have list. Yes, the big picture. <clears throat> now we're going to the big picture. Methane is a greenhouse gas that while is far more ephemeral in the atmosphere compared to CO2, it only lasts in the air about 10 years compared to hundreds to a thousand years for CO2. Methane 
according to this UN report, is about 10 times more potent as a global warming contributor. I've read anywhere from, good Lord, 25 to 80. They're claiming 10 times more potent. Uh, methane concentrations have risen rapidly during the past few decades to record highs that are incompatible with the Paris Agreement's 2 degree C temperature target relative to the pre-industrial era. According to the report, there is, quote, strong evidence, strong evidence that the increases in methane amounts detected since the 20 teens were, quote, primarily attributable to increased emissions from fossil fuel related activities. This period coincides with the fracking boom and growth in oil and gas production in the U.S. Methane is the main component of natural gas heating my house and cooking my food. Yes, and the report focuses on leak prevention, detection, and sealing abandoned wells as cost-saving measures that industry could implement. Okay, so of note, of note, <clears throat> the study also finds that there are considerable low-cost money-saving measures that oil and gas companies can take to cut their methane emissions from pipelines, drilling sites, and other facilities. However, it finds that expanding natural gas infrastructure and usage without relying on currently unproven technologies to remove carbon from the air is incompatible with limiting global warming to keeping warming to one and a half C, which of course is, is, is never going uh, to happen. So what they're doing, guys, <coughs> is more <coughs> planting these hopium seeds about carbon capture. Uh, in other words, the report calls into question the popular view in Washington that natural gas is a growing so-called bridge fuel for use until renewables can more reliably power uh, the grid. Other solutions would be employed to cut methane emissions from agriculture and coal sectors. Yes. Um, the study also shows that methane emissions have much more significant health impacts than previously thought. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, what they are saying, what they are saying, this is what Rick Duke senior advisor to John Kerry, President Biden's, uh, what do you call John Kerry? Can't remember the name. Of, anyway, quote, of all the short-lived climate pollutants, methane has by far the largest current warming impact accounting for nearly one-fifth of global greenhouse gas emissions, and it is therefore now by far the top priority short-lived climate pollutant that we need to tackle. Yes, yeah, so of course, uh, obviously what was missing in this article uh, was the methane bomb uh, brewing up there in the Arctic, not one mention of the methane bubbling out of the Arctic. Uh, these uh, methane hydrates and the melting permafrost and uh, the ticking time bomb in the Arctic, no mention whatsoever. 
but at least the UN, I think, is this the first time that the UN seems to be paying any attention to methane at all? So, uh, not surprised. Worse than previously thought, but, uh, man, all this talk about methane is making me hungry because my red beans and rice should be ready to pull off the stove on this cold winter night in May huddled around the uh, propane furnace. I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy your own methane bomb while you still can. Bye guys.